Hello, YouTube. <coughs> welcome back for yet another video. I should be saying also welcome back, Cake Empire, for the, uh, those of you ha who were smart enough to subscribe while well, you still can. Well, hopefully you can for the end of the earth. Because <laughs> I am not deleting this channel. At least that. I'm pretty sure I'm def and definitely sure of that. Either way, we are doing yet another Steins Gate video. I realize I've been uploading a very much recently. Well, actually, I got two videos, but said I haven't been doing this either, and I've been dying to. I also got another visual novel I've been wanting to do. I've just been too lazy to do it, and I've uh, not been in the mood as of lately due to the fact that I don't know my senses are scrambled due to these like uh, uh, uh allergies. Due to the allergies this season. Not exactly scrambled, I at least know what I'm doing. I'm telling you that I'm not drunk or anything like that, but still, it's just like, yeah. I've been stuck in this, like, one thing. I don't know. <sighs> Maybe we'll find out through this. <laughs> this might explain some things. I don't know. No, this is a work of fiction. At least I hope it is. I don't know. Maybe this would be interesting. Either way, let's get back to where we left off. Load the game. It's sucking to yourself, derp. Wait, derp? Derp? Uh, yeah, so we open up the microwave and there's absolutely nothing in it. God, I miss this feel of how everything looks. Yeah, oh, you. It's you. Thank you. Yeah, that's much better. Yeah, okay. Shut up, you fair stalker. Where the, so where did you hid, hide the banana? Hid, hide. They don't know their English very well, do they? But yeah, so there's no banana in the microwave. Syrup, you're not a banana. No, that, but you are a dick, I'm telling you that. Oh, right. <laughs> you keep popping up too often. Alright, moving on. Who are you calling a st Who are you calling a stalker? Hey, you... You not never mind. <laughs> Take out the B A. <laughs> oh, God, I'm not gonna say that. Oh, God, you guys are gonna have that song sung in your head all day. Right now. <laughs> are you planning on becoming a street magician or something? Oh, that would be interesting. Are there any even still around? I have not seen one. But then again, I don't live on the street or go on one constantly. Ah, either way, big city, mean. You're the one who hit it, right? <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Okay, then. Dot, dot, dot. I need to come up with this voice again. I'm just gonna use that deep voice again or something like that. Oh, God, this is gonna be a pain in my throat. I forgot about that. Anyways, an uncomfortable silence. <sighs> That's so silent for me on the end. I just realized that my throat is all dried up. Yeah, man, we are connected. Do I have to- Oh, no, that's an empty ball of water. I'll be drinking a ball of air. That'll be soon. <laughs> Why did it disappear? Don't know. Don't know. Now what do we do? There's an uh, empty. Where did you go, banana? Banana! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm waiting for someone to walk in and just hear me saying that. That'll be so awkward as fuck. Uh, moving on. <laughs> I take out the turntable and of the microwave oven and look all over it, but I can't find a single trace of the banana. There's no banana. Need bananas. I I got it. So this is one of the microwave weapon, but a microwave oven which allows teleportation. Could it? What? What? That explains nothing. But that's nonsense. Where would it teleport to? There's. It's connected to absolutely nothing. There's no other way that I could have disappeared from the closed space in the microwave oven. Yeah, so true. Ahem, for now we shall calm we should calm down. Yeah, 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 that's right. We should we need to calm down. We take him we both take a deep breath. Take a deep breath, everyone. Come on, sink. Everyone everyone take a deep breath of me. In No, you're not gonna get out. <laughs> Oh god, I just had to headphone you. Right, I will eat a banana to calm down. Oh yeah, the, well that always calms you down. I extend my hand towards the banana from there while thinking of that, and I started doubting my eyes. It's... Okay then, uh, apparently you have, uh, the banana is connected again. This is truly unnatural, completely. The banana bunch that Miri asked me to buy. About three minutes ago, Daru picked up picked a banana from it and put it in the microwave oven temp. Or so it should have been. But now there's not even a trace of banana ever being picked. What? But it's all melted as well. 
Okay, so I think we're going back to that theory of time travel. It didn't survive the time travel process and went back in time around a certain amount. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Alright, and instead of it, there's a jellified banana perfectly connected to the rest of the bunch. Uh, what the? What the hell is happening? What's happened here? It looks like Dara noticed as well. In a state of confusion, I tried to touch it, but restrained myself. Ah, oh God, my throat! Hold on. Sorry that you have to hear that. Ah, oh God. I'm gonna probably sneeze at that. Alright, Dara, how many bananas are there in the lab right now? Probably only these. Is the place where the jail banana is right now the same place where you took from the banana? I... I don't know, I didn't confirm that much. This gel banana is perfectly connected. Yes, perfectly connected indeed. I don't see any damage or anything else. It's like it never even left. Besides the fact that I got jellified. <sighs> it looks very natural, and it doesn't look like a trick at all. So I, I'm kind of tempted to try and come up with a magic trick for this or something like that. By which I mean that it doesn't seem like someone took a banana gel gel find it, and then put the banana back. Hey, hey, Daru, could this... What could this be? The words I previously said out of nowhere. Now I have trouble even whispering them again. However, I must say it. No matter how unbelievable this is, I saw it with my own eyes. My head is full of question marks, and I don't even know what how this happened. But if I were to explain it with only what I saw, then this is from the closest space in the microwave oven temp to a the bunch of bananas. Text 00820B an actual teleportation. Hmm? I hear a woman's voice from the la- Wait, who is there? Another intruder! That's an interesting experiment you're doing there. Who is this? Who is that? Tell us. I just felt my heart skip a beat. Oh, I've had that moment too. Overwhelmed by surprise, I quickly faced the direction of the voice. Oh, God, how'd you get it? Did you, creeper? What the hell? And I get pierced by the sharp glance aimed right at me. Well, now we have her here. I impossible! Why are you here? The genius who had her article published in Science, the S woman who tortured his men in front of an audience, and the one who held the name, the resurrected one. Oh god, that's you gave her that name, didn't you? Makai screws evil. Well, yeah, after. Either way. Nice explanation, bro. <laughs> Who are you calling a zombie? The, the, what's the meaning of this? What that with what purpose did you come here? I came here to meet you, Akame. Taru? No. Healing Kyoma son, right? Oh zip it! <laughs> zip it, you yeah. You zombie. Why does she know my real name? Explain this to me. I'm sure that I never told her, did you? I get it, so you're an agent from the organization and a superhuman as well. You are you are one of the undi undying. I never died, please don't kill me off, okay? <laughs> I need to put back her voice. I, I don't have a voice for you actually, I, just, I looked at the video and I was like, oh shit, that was the voice I was putting on people? Oh god, I feel terrible now. <laughs> Hashida-san, can you do something about that this person? What Hakune-san? He's only panicking since Miss Makai's appears at as such a time. Daru doesn't seem to be perplexed the appearance of this woman. Daru, you traitor. Why exactly? Daru, did you betray me? Akrin, stop the rampage. Did she get a hold of your weakness, or were you deceived by her charms? I glare at Makai's cruzy. Damn you for doing this to my right hand man! I won't forgive you, you- <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna there. Yeah, I'll call people that. No, oh, I do- <laughs> Okay, I'm such a contradiction there. Moving on, calm down, calm down. I think I just saw Makai's cruzy light up a bit. Eyes light up. Got that word, intensity what you want to expect from an 18 year old. Could it be that she didn't die and came back to life, but that she is a man-made machine soldier that replaced the dead Makai Skruzy? Well, I guess I should calm down for now. There's no use panicking, even if it was, she probably would take your on in a sec, so best, uh, 
converse with the machine. I found out about this place from Hashidan san after the lecture ended. Your name as well. What a boring truth. I am disappointed. <clears throat> so you said that you came here to talk to me, right? Yes, I wanted to find out if, if what you said about me dying was the truth or an excuse for sexual harassment. Now that she mentioned it, she, she treated me as a pervert yesterday. Oh, I wouldn't be surprised. How you were acting, yeah, that really was kind of rude. Looking back at it, I really did do something terrible, and it's kind of amazing that she didn't call the cops on me. But it can't be helped. I think that everyone would react in a similar way or to seeing a dead person appear right in front of them. Making sense. I can tell from your current behavior that it wasn't, it was nothing but sexual harassment, which means that I was right. I'd prefer it if you didn't go to a conclusion so quickly. You're misunderstanding me. If this keeps up, I'll be marked as a pervert. Yeah, <laughs> no clearing. You ought to calm down a bit there. I must clear up the misunderstanding. Well, I will leave that aside for now. Eh, you will. What a relief. I thought she was gonna call the police. Yeah, that would that would not end up well, especially with the scene that you have right here. <laughs> but she also said for now. <laughs> That's another thing. With focus and straightened back, Cruzy Briscoe walks towards the development room. Oh god, even though she's only 18, she's got quite a nice figure. Oh, come on! Not, this is not the time to be acting like a pervert, seriously, you moron. The way she walked also looks good. There's not much around with chest here, though. So, so god, quit being a fucking pervert, alright? In this cramped space, Dara and I falter and try to make some distance away from her. Damn you, the development room is off limits for other authorized people. I'm speaking terrible, I'm getting folk from the. Bleh. Ah, by the way, I don't think I properly introduced myself yet. I am Akai Skuruzi. Ni it's nice meeting you. After saying that, she extends her hand to me with a sour look on her face. Oh, really? What is this gesture? Is she get going to shoot some supernatural waves at me? I don't think so. You can't even do a handshake. Japanese man sure lack common sense. A handshake? Oh yeah, that's right. He's the <laughs> we're in Japan now. Everyone bows and stuff. <laughs> this genius girl who I met only a di yesterday and who almost marked me as a pervert is asking me for a handshake. <sighs> oh god, no one gets introductions in the Japan, I guess. <laughs> well, let's put that off for now. Westerner. Yeah, I lived in America for seven years. Well, that makes sense. They spent that seven years of her life. I wonder, was it out when she was 11 or when she was uh, a baby or I don't know, in between? That's kind of. That'll prove a lot of things. But either way, it would make sense. Thin, soulful, lovely figure. Healthy, elegant, real fingernails. No unnecessary manicures. True, that's all.